Hey there, today I'm going to be teaching you how to upscale your Valorant clip to 4K quality using Topaz AI. First of all, drag your clip into Topaz and the first thing you're going to do is change the output resolution. Click it and you either want to go for 4 times upscale or 4K which is just down here. I recommend this setting. So I'm just going to click on that. You want to ignore the frame rate and you want to scroll down until you find enhancement. If it's closed, just open it by clicking on the arrow. Leave the video type and the AI model as they are, but you want to change the parameters from auto to manual. This one here, believe it or not, we don't actually need to change many settings, although it does depend on your clip. So I'm going to be using mine as an example. Let's see what's wrong with mine. Already you've probably noticed it's low quality. It's a 720p clip. There are a few visual artifacts around my clip. So you can see there is some blocking and that's the result of compression. And it just looks blurry overall. I would say it doesn't look very nice to look at. Things like objects look jagged as you can see. So what we're going to do is try and fix that. So I'm just going to select my clip again. And what you want to do, first of all, try this. Underneath the parameter setting, you should see a button that says estimate. Just click on that. And as you can see, it's actually changed my settings for me. These are the settings that Topaz has given me uh, based on my source, which is this clip over here. So let's see if the recommended settings look any good. And we can do this by clicking on this tiny preview button down here. So just click on that. This may take a little while if it's your first time doing it, but Mine's done already and as you can see it looks much better. Viewing it from a distance it looks pretty good in terms of quality. Everything looks much cleaner so that is a positive. However there are a few negatives. So for example if I zoom in you may notice that and this depends on your settings some edges may look very smudgy almost unnatural. I've got an example here so it almost looks like this shadow here has been painted. Even if you view it from slightly further away, you can see it looks very odd. However, things like textures actually look fine. So for example, this looks much cleaner overall and it has removed all of those artifacts that I mentioned before. So here you can see it looks quite blocky. Here it looks very smooth. Unfortunately, this is how upscaling works and there isn't much you can do about it. So I want you to use my settings as a reference and we're going to make adjustments from this point on. So first of all, what I'm going to do is attempt to get a sharper image overall because it looks good, but let's see if we can go even further. So as you can see, I've got this setting here. It's called sharpen and it's set to 11, which is quite low. So let me increase it to about maybe 75. So let's try that. I'm going to click the preview button once again, and it's going to render me a preview. Now that's done, let's take a look once more. The shadows that I was talking about earlier, they look more dark to me. So you've got this down here, if you just follow my cursor, and this up here as well, even though that's not really a shadow, but you get the point. So anything that looks dark just looks darker. So this line over here, I think these objects here as well. And I would say this actually looks worse. So I'm going to turn it down. Let's go 20. This top setting here, fixed compression, I'm going to max it out to 100. Let's see if that's any good. Even though it did help my image look smooth, I feel like if we crank it too high, it might look strange. So yeah, as you can see here, it looks very fake. I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks like a single color. However, things like um, this mountain, is it a mountain? I think it's a mountain. Whatever it is, it looks so much cleaner. Take a look before, after, but let's see how it looks if it was at zero. Okay, yeah, this looks very weird, but it still looks fine. It definitely looks better than the other one. So our original clip but when I view it from a distance, it looks more natural. So maybe you could keep it between maybe 50 to 100, just so you can keep that balance of making it look natural and clean overall. So I think what I'm going to do is go for, let's go 75. I think that's a generous amount. Now, something I want to quickly mention is the halo. You don't want this higher than zero. Don't increase it because this is what it looks like. It looks very blurry, which is quite ironic because it's called the halo. So I thought it would make it look sharper overall, but that's not the case. So make sure that's zero. Anti-alias, and you might actually be familiar with this 
uh, term, I suppose. Basically, what it does is it smoothens out any jagged edges. So the higher the amount, the smoother your image will look overall. So let's experiment a little. So really, this is going to affect things like this, for example. As I previously mentioned, it looks quite smudgy. I think the hands also look a bit weird, almost too round. So what we can do is actually decrease the anti-alias to a negative value. So let's go maybe negative 80 and render that as a preview. And let's see if it looks sharper. Honestly, I don't see a big difference. But what if I increased it? So max it out to 100 and preview. Again, not much. Actually, no, I do see a difference. I think this looks worse. So it's probably safe to keep it at zero so i'm going to leave it at zero for now and we're going to move on to these final two settings add noise make sure that this is zero and recover detail i don't really know how this would work for gaming clips but let's try it so i'm going to first of all try something like 80 render that as a preview so again i'm not seeing any difference at all everything looks fine no major differences but i think these settings are pretty much okay. Oh, and I don't think I explained reduce noise. My guess would be that it would remove things like, you see these dots on the snow? I don't really know what it's supposed to be because the original source doesn't really have it. So what I'm going to do is increase that to maybe something like 75 and render that. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. And I think it's because it's a gaming clip, doesn't really have noise unless it was on something like a texture, for example, on the character's glove. So if we use reduced noise, that would make it look cleaner or should I say clearer? Anyways, what we're going to do now is change the export settings. So if you just head down here and click on this little cog, it's going to bring up this panel, change your codec to H264, the profile to high. And the bitrate, since it's a gaming clip, I do recommend dynamic because one moment your character might just be standing there, meaning minimal bitrate is required. And then the next thing you know, they're jumping around. So it needs more bitrate. Otherwise, it's going to look really bad. So what dynamic will do is use bitrate when necessary, resulting in a lower file size, whereas constant will just use a constant value so for example 60 even if a character is still and there's no action going on it just results in a very large file size for no reason so i do recommend dynamic but if you do want to go for constant then pick something between 40 to 60 since my output is at 4k 60 fps I think to play it safe, 60 would be appropriate, even though I don't see why 40 wouldn't be okay as well, but 60 it is. However, I'm doing dynamic, so make sure the quality level is set to high. Audio mode, I think it should be set to something if you do have audio. I don't want any, so I've set mine to none. Container, make sure that is MP4. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do is just click this massive button. It's going to bring up this tab, give it a name and press save. And now it's going to start rendering. It might take a while depending on your PC specs, but here is a before and after comparison. There is definitely a huge improvement. Even if you downscale this to 1080p, it's going to look better than the original source. So if you're uploading it as a TikTok, you know what to do. Monthly supporters, thank you so very much as always for your continued support. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.